Welcome back. The Wisconsin Historical Society operates 12 sites and museums all around Wisconsin, including its first Villa Louis in Prairie du Chien. Villa is a restored Victorian mansion at which guests can have hands-on experiences. Susan Kaya Slusser, director of the Wisconsin Historical Site at Villa Louis, joins us to talk more about the mansion. And we need to tell you all at home, grab your calendar because this spring is jam-packed full of fun activities. That first one starting this Friday. Yes, we're actually open this Friday and Saturday, part of the Bald Eagle Appreciation Weekend mm -hmm. in Prairie du Chien. So we're open for tours, but people can come and see raptors on Saturday in town. And there's all kinds of activities taking place throughout town and at other museums in town as well. Fantastic. And again, these are all family-friendly events, right? Yes. So there is a charge to tour the Villa Louis, but all the birding activities this weekend are free, uh, put on by the Prairie du Chien Tourism Council and the Chamber of Commerce. Fantastic. Now let's move ahead to March 11th, where we can get a behind-the-scenes look. Yes, especially right now, Downton Abbey is so huge. If people mm -hmm. want a little taste of that in their own backyard, a little, not as grand as Downton Abbey, <laughs> but we take you behind the scenes into rooms that have been beautifully restored. Wow. Our collection contains about 6,000 objects, and everything that you're seeing, nearly 90% is original to the Dowsman family. And with these behind the scenes tours, you go into the attic, you go into the basement, <gasps> and the nooks and crannies, and you, don't, you see things that other visitors don't get to see. It's absolutely beautiful. What a fun adventure. Step back in time. Yes. I love it. Now we're going to move ahead to April where you're going to get into the kitchen for a little cooking workshop. Yes, it's our Breakfast in the Victorian Kitchen where historic cooks in costume help you cook on two wood stoves. So wow. you actually prepare a traditional Victorian breakfast. Um, our signature dish actually is fried Mississippi catfish, which is rolled in cracker crumbs and fried in butter and lard. So sometimes people, when they hear that's on the bill of fare, they kind of are hesitant, but it's their favorite by the time they leave. Yeah, don't turn up your nose before you try anything yes, in the exactly. kitchen, right? Right. <laughs> and then lastly, this may be one of my favorites, the mother-daughter breakfast that's happening in May, of course, probably corresponding with Mother's Day, right? Yes, it is. Mother's Day weekend, it's that Saturday, May 7th. And and we often get requests for people to bring their children to the breakfast in the Victorian kitchen, but using some of the tools and utensils, we're going to change it up a little bit so mm -hmm. it makes it more appropriate for younger children to come with their mothers, their grandmothers, their aunts, and experience what it was like to be a cook um, working on these wood stoves and have the taste, the sounds, we, all the recipes mm -hmm. are from the period, the utensils every, we use, using an actual egg beater. There's no microwave, there's no refrigerator. <laughs> um, so it really takes people back in time. Sounds like a great time now. And again, Susan, thanks so much for being with us. And if you'd like to learn more about any of these events she talked about, we have a link posted at NBC15.com. Just click on News Links. Stay with us. Brian has a full look at your forecast right now.